Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know that there are a few new subscribers out there, so I just wanted to say hi and welcome, and thanks so much for stopping by to watch this video. Um, in today's video, I actually wanted to talk about some um, eyeshadow products. So I know on my channel, I don't normally talk about a lot of makeup stuff, and I'm definitely not a makeup person. I am very, very basic when it comes to makeup. Um, but in the morning, on a regular like work day, because you know I, I do work in an office, um, I tend to try to keep my makeup as minimal and quick as possible in the morning so how you see me on camera is probably a little bit more done up than usual this is more than i would uh, wear when i go into the office but if you do happen to follow me on instagram um, i occasionally post stories and that's kind of like in the evening after work like that kind of stuff um, so you may see a little bit more of what i look like on a regular basis but the reason why i wanted to film this video is because i remember a time where i thought that eyeshadow was mostly powder and you needed like all these different products and all that kind of of stuff and now like today and for the past couple of years I've actually been changing my thoughts about that and I've mostly been using um, cream eyeshadows whether it be in a pot like this or kind of like a stick form so I just wanted to talk about a couple of these products that I have been really liking um, and really I only use like one color in the morning and then I go to work so I keep it really really simple I also wear some of these um, just single cream eyeshadow looks in my other videos so in case you're wondering um, I that's not something that I did today but in case you're wondering um, what I'm wearing it's some of this stuff so my plan for this video is I'm going to swatch them on my hand and also kind of show you how they blend out um, and then I will kind of give you a little bit of um, feedback on what I think about these different products so first I'm just going to apologize a little bit because all of this hand washing is drying my hands out like crazy so my skin is a little bit dry <laughs> sorry about that but um, yeah I'm just gonna go in and show you the different swatches so for this video I've decided to kind of go through them chronologically in terms of when I found out and started using this product for me personally that just seems like a good flow for me to go through these so that's what I'm going to be doing today so I guess what first got me into cream eyeshadows are these Bobbi Brown long wear cream shadow sticks and I have two of them I have it in golden bronze and grayish so to be very honest with you, golden bronze I've had for a super long time, like maybe a few years. I think a lot of makeup people out there would be like, that's old, get rid of it. And to be honest with you, it is kind of drying out. So I think I am at that point where I will have to get rid of it. But um, golden bronze was the very first shadow that I got and then grayish. So this is what they look like. This is golden bronze. Let me just show you how it goes on. So it is very um, creamy and you can just blend them out with a finger um, they blend out pretty easily and the color just like diffuses a lot on the eyelid so golden bronze to me seems harder to blend out than grayish grayish for some reason is a more like soft like creamier formula i guess which i don't i don't understand why it would necessarily be different i personally like gray a little bit better and when i put them on my eyelid i don't put on this much like this is coming through like pretty strong like for me this would be like too much to wear like this would be too dark to wear to work um so i normally just like put a little bit on and then like blend it out with a finger and if that's still too much for me i will use a clean finger to sort of wipe some excess off but those are some of the shadows that I like and I'm having a hard time getting them off my finger so that's how well they um, stay on your skin I'm just like scrubbing away with this wipe so this is a simple um, cleansing wipe that I'm using and it's still kind of there but um, mostly gone so I'm just gonna let this dry off and I will show you some other swatches so up next I have these two from Laura Mercier so I have a matte color um, these are called the caviar stick eye colors I have a matte color in caramel which is actually a really natural base color so whenever I wear this it's just kind of like canceling out whatever's on my eyelid and it doesn't really look like I'm wearing any eyeshadow and this other color that I have is called amethyst so this one is tiny because it came in a little set and I think sometimes they give these away like gift of purchase style um, but this one actually came in a set during like a holiday season with a couple of other colors so the other colors I haven't really used yet to be honest with you guys um, they're just not really colorful that I would I feel like I would put on my eyes but amethyst is one that I really like so 
that's what that looks like. And again, I would not use this much actually like on my eye. Um, here is caramel. Like usually I just be like and call it a day and then blend this out. Um, but I know it's a little bit more difficult to see on camera. And these, I actually feel like they stay on really, really well throughout the day. Um, if I had to choose a stick, I would definitely go with the Laura Mercier for staying power and I think like the Bobbi Brown for the color options. Um, but this is what amethyst and caramel look like um, on the back of my hand. Um, but yeah, I really like caramel if I'm just kind of like, uh, I kind of want to look a little bit more put together for work, but I'm not really about to be like putting colorful eyeshadow on my eye, which none of these are necessarily colorful um, in my opinion and probably, I mean, they're not like blue or green or anything crazy like that. Um, Amethyst is kind of like a light purple color, um, but it does look pretty natural on the eye. So these are the two from Laura Mercier. I really like these um, and I have a couple more potted ones that I want to show you guys. So to back up just a little bit, I know I mentioned that I was gonna go through these in like chronological order from when I was introduced to them. So for the Laura Mercier, I actually had Amethyst long before I had Caramel. So Caramel is a newer um, color for me um, and in a matte. So this is the first like matte Laura Mercier eye um, pencil that I've tried um, for their shadows. But yeah, I've been using Amethyst for like a couple of years now and I really liked it. So anyways, just wanted to clear that up. Caramel is a newer color to me, maybe in the past few months. I definitely want to try more of the colors though. So this next one I have here is by Charlotte Tilbury and it comes in a pot. So this is actually the first potted cream eyeshadow that I ever tried. Um, I am really interested in trying a couple of others that I've seen online. Um, but I think I just want to see like more swatches and that kind of stuff or in person if possible because at the end of the day, I want to make sure I'm getting colors I'm going to use and not ones that are going to go to waste because I, you know, bought a lot of random stuff in my younger years, maybe like 10 years ago, and I wasted a lot of stuff and I try not to do that anymore. But this one is called, um, it's Eyes to Mesmerize is this line of uh, cream eyeshadow and this is in the color Marie Antoinette. So this is a really nice like champagne color and I've used quite a bit of this. Um, this is one that I use on a pretty regular basis. So I will dip my finger in and get just a little bit out of the pot. And um, this one, it has kind of like a moussey texture to it. It's very like lightweight and kind of like, it has a sort of whipped feeling. Like I almost feel like some other um, cream eyeshadows that I see, they look a little bit like heavier, like they're in the pot and you might have to like use a little bit of effort to get some out. But this, I just kind of like tap my finger onto it. So this one, like I mentioned, I use a lot on a regular basis. Um, this is probably the amount that I would use for both eyes. And as you can see, it does kind of like, blend out quite a bit but it just kind of gives a little bit of color like a champagne-y sort of brownish color to the eye sorry i'm not really good at describing colors you probably noticed um, but the other potted eyeshadow that i really wanted to try was from supergoop mostly because i think this is one of the only ones that have spf of any kind in them so these are broad spectrum sunscreen spf 30 and this super goop colors are golden hour and sunset so i personally like sunset um, color wise a lot more than golden hour only because it's something that i could use on an everyday basis and actually look like i'm wearing eyeshadow so as you can see i've used a little bit of this um, it has a little bit of more of like a spongy like bouncy texture as compared to the charlotte tilbury so initially when i got this i did have a little bit of trouble getting some of the color out of the pot um, it takes just a little bit more effort and you do kind of need to rub your finger in there a little bit um, but this is golden hour so it's a little bit like darker color um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the bobby brown the golden bronze color but um less intense i guess i would say um, but yeah this is another really nice one that i like to use um, when going to work and golden hour is a lot lighter and that's the only reason why i don't use it as much so it is it is a kind of, it is a very golden color on the back of my hand um as you can see right there it kind of reminds me of like some of the highlight colors that are out there personally i feel like 
the golden hour color is a little bit too light for me to wear in a professional environment um, I think you know at times where I do wear this one I hold back a little bit on it because it is rather bright but I do really like these eyeshadows I think it's really cool that Supergoop thought to put um, SPF in there because I mean SPF is a huge anti-aging thing you know like we should be wearing SPF all the time for numerous reasons sun damage um, you know exposure I live in Hawaii it's sunny a lot so I'm always looking for SPF stuff so when this came out I was really excited I thought it was a really good find and I was super excited to try it but yeah these are the three potted eyeshadows that I currently have um, I'm definitely looking for more so if you guys have any suggestions for me on ones that I might like to try ones that you guys like um, let me know a couple of different um, brands that I've seen that I'm curious about are RMS and Chanel it's just color wise I'm just not sure because I've only seen them online um, how it would work out for me but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you like this video um, give it a thumbs up um, if you tried any of these products or have any recommendations for me don't forget to leave that information for me down in the comments below and if you want to see more videos like this don't forget to hit subscribe um, like I mentioned I don't really do a lot of makeup videos but if you're wondering about any other makeup stuff that I I use or like um, just let me know down in the comments and I'll put it on my list of videos to make in the future thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye